Hey, 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 all right guys, we're out in the far reaches of my backyard and I'm gonna show you my earth battery, which gives me free power. All right, here she is. It's been a little while since I've been over here and checked her out. The uh, power should have grown over time. Basically what this is, is I've got a piece of copper on one end and this actually is going down to a like a copper plate or something it's a pretty maybe a three or four foot piece of copper pipe and then I have this here is a wire that runs that way for probably maybe a hundred hundred and twenty five feet all right we've got our voltage here set to check and on this side we have copper, on the other side we have a piece of galvanized tin or aluminum, or not aluminum, but basically anything galvanized. So we're going to touch here, see how I can do this. Touch here, touch here. Maybe, if she's still connected. There we go. Try to make a good connection. See what we can do to make a better connection. You gotta give the YouTubers credit because this ain't easy. 0.86 volts. 0.86 volts. Solid and steady. My plan was actually to make a uh, quite a few of these. Maybe two, three, four hundred of them. And basically power, uh, power a battery. Or I should say charge a battery. I have another one here. This is a copper plate. But I've been so long, I'm not sure. This must be the other the other part of it. So let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. I just hold the camera with my mouth, no worries. We yeah, have got another one there. This one is a much shorter run. This one goes through here, through there, over to here, and then here. Let's see what we got. I think she's just a piece of galvanized steel with the wires hooked to it with a little bolt there. And you put your galvanized on the south end and then on your north side you put your copper. And then your galvanized and your copper make power because there's potential difference between them. Basically you have something over there, this one's about 10 feet, this one's about 125, and the potential difference in the ground here, from here to 10 feet over there, is the voltage that you see. And obviously it's, you know, there's certain metals that will pick it up better. Um, I forget the name of it, Tulslick Tulsa Current or something like that but there's there's energy all around you basically and you can you can tap into it so hopefully that uh, gives you a little insight on how creative i am but yeah earth batteries exciting stuff exciting stuff
There's one guy on YouTube, he's got a, uh, a radio that's been running for like two years, powered off earth batteries, so. I'm looking to go a little bit bigger than that. I'm looking to power the whole house, but it's been, uh, it's been a couple of years since I've got back to this. But yeah, pretty cool. Maybe I'll walk down here a little bit and show you how far that one goes. Maybe. Well, she goes for a ways. You just have to take my word for it. All right, guys, be good or be good at it.